Thousands of students have been rallying in London against the coalition's plans to raise university tuition fees to up to £9,000. Well, we are seeing unprecedented levels of action from students and staff standing up to the fact that we've been singled out for the biggest cuts to our universities and colleges in, in, in 50 years. Passions among the protesters were certainly running high. And despite the majority protesting peacefully, events turned violent when the demonstration reached Conservative Party HQ at Millbank. As the students showed their displeasure as what they see as broken electoral promises from the Liberal Democrats, just down the road at the Houses of Parliament, Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg, filling in for David Cameron, was being attacked over the matter at Prime Minister's questions. I've been entirely open about the fact that we have not been able to deliver we have not been able to deliver the policy that we held uh, in opposition and even mr cameron couldn't escape the matter despite being on a trade mission to china recently the tuition fee is raised which may probably prevent some excellent students and with students still gathered in central london the fires of this protest are yet to be put out we are partnering this year with the NFL on our If You See Something, Say Something campaign uh, and launching this NFL partnership right here at the Super Bowl. Uh, the idea is simple. We are simply asking the American people uh, uh, to be vigilant, uh, recognizing that our security is a shared responsibility uh, that all of us uh, must participate in. Uh, if a fan at the Super Bowl or any American at any other place sees something that is potentially dangerous, then say something about it to local law enforcement or someone in authority. Uh, uh, in addition to the, the shared responsibility, if you see something, say something aspect, uh, I'd just like to point out that uh, we have helped provide first observer training to more than 1,200 stadium staff. Uh, we have... Uh, teams in place to help provide security for transit to and from the stadium. Uh, and there is uh, non-intrusive inspection equipment that we are supplying to help scan all of the cargo entering the stadium area between now and the time of the Super People in American Fork and Highland reported some strange happenings in last night's sky. They did, and they want to know what was hovering over that area between 7.15 and 7.30 last night. ABC 4's Barb Smith is taking action to find out what it was, Barb. Robert and Karen, they tell us that they saw lights, but those lights were not from an airplane or a helicopter, and these lights dropped something as they hung low over the sky. I don't believe in extraterrestrials. Lynette Chittister doesn't believe in close encounters, neither does Mike Galbraith. And when people tell me this, I, I think, oh, you know, it's you're just seeing things or people are making things up. But last night, both saw something in the sky that they can't explain. Mike was in the Air Force and says the lights hovering in the sky were unlike any he had seen. He was outside a shopping center in American Fork, grabbed his cell phone and took this video. But I looked up and there was three red lights and then they started dropping, um, it looked like flares or something bright was was dropping straight down. And Lynette saw it too at her home in Highland. And I noticed over the roof of the garage a red light and a white light. And the red light isn't flashing that like an airplane light does. That's what drew my attention to it. She says soon there were three. And out of the red light comes like a firework, the phosphorescent silver. It's coming down out of it and I thought Okay, I've never seen that before. Both say the objects were flying slowly, almost hovering, and were in formation. And they looked like they were flying in formation perfectly together. And then the, whatever was dropping looked like it was burning um, real bright. The Galbraith says the lights were without sound and did not belong to any plane or helicopter he was familiar with from his military experience. And he says what was being dropped were not flares. They usually shoot out of the sides or they shoot down and, and there's a lot of them and you could definitely hear them. Lynette's husband once manufactured military flares. He agreed what was being seen was not a military exercise. But what was it? 
The control tower at Provo's airport had nothing to report out of the unusual last night, nor did the county sheriff's department. Salt Lake International's control tower had no incidents, and officials at Camp Williams had nothing to report. So we are reaching out to you. If you have more video or information, go to our website at abc4.com and look for the orange box. Good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2011. I'm Darko. Welcome, everyone, to this uh, part three of this news bulletin. It's the final part. Um, this is my website right here, www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. I just posted a poll uh, less than an hour ago. The recent political upheaval in the Middle East will most likely result in either a positive outcome for the people in the region or negative outcome or whatever the powers that be desire or not sure. So you can check that out. And uh, we're going to start off with here because I have a lot of news to get through. Um, I'm sure uh, Janet Napolitano's little speech here about the non-invasive stuff searching and, and all that other stuff just had your blood boiling as, it, as much as it did me. Um, but that's just the way it is, and it's going to get worse and worse until eventually you'll have body scanners in schools and, you know, grammar schools and everything, dude. Uh, invisibility cloak enters the real world. There's actually a video uh, from the university. It's right here, and uh, I'll from Duke University, but I'm going to, uh, just for time's sake, skip that. Uh, you can check out the links will be posted. Scientists are a step closer to creating a Star Trek-style cloaking device after making an object uh, visible to the naked eye uh, disappear for the first time. And if you have any ideas for, um, uh, like, news uh, like this or any type news, please uh, don't, uh, feel free, basically, to personal message me, and, um, you know, I'll cover it because one of the subscribers uh, sent me this video. Um, next up is... Um, Britain's unemployment at its highest, and then we have this, Britain's uh, petrol prices at new high, and then you have British petrol retails, retailers profiting. Uh, hacktivists launched cyber war on Britain. The WikiLeaks hacktivist group uh, warned Britain of a cyber war after police nabbed five of its members following attacks on financial institutions' websites. Chance of revolution echo in Britain. Thousands of protesters pour in the streets in London and Manchester again to shout their anger at the government's policies, with some clashing with police. Uh, fee protests spell anarchy for Britain. Britain's capital, London, and the city of Manchester were hit by uh, anarchy and chaos Saturday as thousands of students took to the streets in anti-fee uh, tuition protests. Uh, UK uncut faces political pol uh, policing. Police officers used tear gas on UK uncut protesters on Sunday in apparently unprovoked attacks, questioning the force's tolerance for democratic rights of British citizens. That guy got pepper sprayed bad, man, or tear gas, whatever. Um, Manchester Airport introduces hologram staff. You should check this out. There's actually a video. Um, the links will be posted. Manchester Airport has introduced futuristic holograms of customer service staff to inform passengers of travel restrictions. Now, it's basically to tell the slaves that they're slaves and to get used to it. Hologram security agents debut at Lutton Airport. Again, um, I've talked about this before. It's all about, um, what, excluding the human element out of everything, out of the Big Brother state, the police state, killing people like in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Let the drones do it. Um, eventually, they'll have, uh, like, Terminators, uh, basically uh, non-human soldiers, and eventually they'll have all the manufacturing done by non-humans. And if they could, they'd wipe out about 90% of us if they could. I'm talking about the powers that be. Um, Grizzly Bunny cartoon attacking China's communist rulers proves to be online hit. Uh, link will be posted. You can check out that video. Uh, New York City Sting spotlights ease of buying guns at shows. Undercover Sting at the Phoenix uh, gun show uh, found dealers sold weapons like the one used in Tucson shooting rampage to questionable buyers without conducting background checks. New York uh, Mayor Mike Bloomberg said on Monday then we have this, Utah plan to adopt official gun condemned by anti-firearm groups. Their, their official emblem, uh, state honor of John Browning, the Utah gun maker who invented it. And then we have uh, this, soldiers on battlefield turn apps into arms. Soldiers armed with smartphones are finding new ways to fight and sub subsequently uh, redefine the battlefield. They can share intelligence and translate languages with mounts basically to the common cell phone. Um, and then we have this. Uh, ACLU airport violates First Amendment right. TSA testing out less invasive body scanners. Good news for those 
uncomfortable with airport security getting to know us so intimately, right? So fun. It's a big joke. Uh, West Bank mourners clash with Israeli troops. Israeli forces have attacked the funeral ceremony of Palestinian teenager uh, shot dead by Israeli settlers in West Bank City. And then we have private data not safe online, says consumers. The Information Commissioner's Office has issued new guidelines to consumers on staying safe online as a new survey reveals widespread fears among consumers. Arizona bill targets automatic citizenship for children of illegal Im Im immigrants. Sorry, Lawmakers in Arizona are proposing a bill that challenges automatic U.S. citizenship for children of illegal immigrants, her latest uh, foray into national debate over illegal immigration. U.S. declares record migrant deportation, wave of corruption protests hit in India. And then we have U.S. town demolished over lead contamination. And then we have Dallas. Dallas police officer charged with stealing from Crime Stoppers. And when it says here, Dallas Police Senior Corporal Ross, a 26-year department veteran, said nothing after being arrested Monday, and now he knows what he's accused of. He's accused of collecting $250,000 in rewards for bogus tips to the Grime Stoppers program for more than five years. So there you go, boys and girls. I guess uh, all that big brother snitch out your your fellow humans, uh, communist-type state stuff doesn't always work. It says a uh, law officer wears ski mask on traffic stop in Houston City. And here's an official uh, shot, a little picture that was taken by someone, the ski mask. And I talked about this, about how, you know, in the, Mexi the Mexican government and the Mexican troops, how they have the ski masks. And uh, basically, my prediction was that eventually you'd see police officers in the United States wearing these ski masks, basically because they're so corrupt and what they're doing so immoral and illegal. Uh, that they couldn't even show their pathetic. F and lo and behold, I have lived to see that day already. Dallas teen fined $637 for a foul mouth. Suburban Dallas teenager had to uh, take on a waitressing job to pay $637 after being ticketed for using bad language in a high school classroom. So that's exactly what it's going to get. And eventually you're going to have big mega complexes uh, that you basically go to five days a week and then you get visitation rights and you get to go home and see your parents like a little prisoner. Um, city Council readies new smoking ban. Uh, basically, New York City wants to ban smoking in beaches, parks, marinas, boardwalks, plazas, everywhere else, so you can't smoke outside or inside anymore. And eventually, you're hearing it from me, Darko, they will eventually, uh, the federal government will ban smoking altogether. They will make it a controlled substance. Georgia Republicans' bill would do away with driver's licenses uh, due to uh, privacy issues. Bill would require all South Dakota citizens to buy a gun, anyone that's 21 and older, uh, sufficient to provide for their ordinary self-defense. So that's good news although you shouldn't have to legislate a right like that, uh, better in than out African countries set to make breaking wind a crime. CIA views China's student informant system. The Chinese Communist Party employs a growing network of student informants who monitor political expression on university campuses. Oh, that sounds nice. And students for politically subversive or uh, unconventional views, according to a recent report from the Central Intelligence Agency. All right, we have Russia warns Ireland over diplomats' expulsion. U.S. airstrike kills civilians in Afghanistan. Just another day for the Afghans. Iraq violence kills 259 in January. U.S. aims to uh, prolong stay in Iraq. A Yemeni president pledges not to seek another term. ISAF drone goes down in Afghanistan and Egypt. Uh, Mubarak is basically going to step down. Uh, his backers attack anti-government protesters, and Mr. Uh, CIA Anderson Cooper attacked, punched in the head by pro-Mubarak mob in Egypt. Uh, Mubarak's new deputy linked to CIA rendition program. Kissinger praises Obama's handling of Egypt, gives Mubarak months at most. And then we have this, digital darkness, U.S.-U.K. companies help Egyptian regime shut down telecom and identif uh, f identify dissident voices. That's also the, what uh, El Barade warns of imminent bloodbath. So that sounds nice. 11 countries at risk of becoming the next Egypt. You can go and check those out. Pakistan court bars Americans' release. Then we have this article. Iran's parliament ousts Ahmadinejad's ally. Jordan's king fires his cabinet amid protests. Rumsfeld to receive Defender of the Constitution Award at the CPAC. How about that? WikiLeaks nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. I think a lot of that's an inside job. Uh, and look at this. Bill Clinton, president of the world. Wow, I thought that was Obama. Uh, officials warn Wall Street about possible terror attacks, so the CIA is getting ready to carry out a false flag. Got to let the, 
The Wall Streeters know. Exclusive Wall Street execs on new terror threat info. U.S. warned citizens about U.K. visits. They're expecting a terrorist attack in the U.K. as well. So, Study fewer U.S. Muslims in domestic terror cases. Well, that's because they're looking at us, white Christians or just white people in general, Americans, as the new terrorist. If you like freedom, you're a terrorist. Jadu porn military discussing a coup. Six terrifying new weapons being created by the Pentagon. Minority report may come to a real world with Irish recognition. An FBI violated law thousands of times. Thank you.